Hello, this is a quick tutorial on Glide Apps um, just to talk through this app I made a few weeks ago called Deliver Norfolk which lists all of the local um, businesses uh, that are doing delivery during the COVID-19 lockdown. Um, I made the app in a couple of hours on a Saturday. I posted it in a local Facebook group um, and it got tons of people commenting and sharing it. Um, so it started out with just 10 businesses listed and now there's over 150 which have all been crowdsourced and um, well I think it's probably had about 20,000 views by now um, so I'll just take you through the app quickly so there's a home page here um, and this works on mobile and on web as you can see with glide apps the the web view basically looks like a, a mobile phone uh, but it works really well um, there's a button here to add a new business um, so business name uh, postcode you can select the type is it food or other categories um, put in your phone number are you doing delivery or collection uh, website email and they can upload a photo um, and actually more photo fields will appear so up to three photos um, you can view the whole list here of all the places and they all got the, these nice icons here depending on the category uh, there is the other tab which has um, stuff like plants you can get delivered and then of course there's a map for you where you can actually click on different pins although it's quite busy now and I think these ones over here might be mistakes I don't think they're yeah I don't think they're supposed to be based over there um, but yeah that's how it works so I'll just quickly take you through the whole setup so the the Google sheet which is in the background is super simple um, so there is a data tab um, there's an about tab and there is an icons tab and then inactive uh, you don't actually need it at all so the, the data tab is the most important one um, and that has a column for each field of information that I collect from the businesses so the name of the business um, their address the type category so the icon is actually just looking up off another sheet um, you don't need an icon it's completely optional but I just had it because I thought it it looked nice and I'm just using emojis but basically in here I've got a, an array formula um, which you can just google how to do those but it's a it's a V lookup but it automatically um, will add the formula into new rows on the bottom and it just looks up the category name in the icons tab here and then we'll return the icon that I've selected for that category uh, so that's all that does phone number um, and all the other fields that we had in the form so including the images which show as, as URLs here uh, so it's really simple all of this data is static data that just comes from that one form uh, the inactive tab is just um, something I copied and pasted some that were were no longer delivering into here just so I could paste them back easily um, but it turns out I didn't even need to do that because as soon as they start delivering someone re-adds them and then the about tab um, so this is just the the home page here um, but just all this wording just comes from this tab here so I've got how it works um, it's a bit of a weird way to make a static page but I've got like how it works help to keep it updated help to keep it updated um, and all the text there and then like my email address and stuff like that and uh, the main home page image here comes from there as well um, and then so in terms of the app looking in glide app so there's the four tabs at the bottom um, over here you can choose the tabs you have and you can move them around um, you can choose the icons and things like that uh, and you can also say which sheet they should look at so the welcome tab I called it welcome you can call it anything you want um, that is linked to the about tab of my spreadsheet the food tab is linked to the data tab and the other tab is also linked to the data tab of the spreadsheet um, and then so on the welcome tab um, it's all uh, if I go over here so you can see the layout um, you just have the components here and you add a new component so I started with an image at the top uh, and I just tell it where to get 
the image from somewhere. I think it automatically pulls it from the um, image, uh, the image column in the spreadsheet. Uh, the title, which is how it works, and then you can say um, which details you want to pull from from the spreadsheet. There uh, help to keep it updated. Obviously, that's got my email address in there, um, and then add a new business that's a form button so when you click on that it opens up this form and this is probably the most time consuming bit but all uh, all you really have to do is um, add new components to it so text entry do you want date time is it going to be email address and things like that um, and then you have to link each of those back to one of the columns in your spreadsheet so for this one, which was text entry, I've tied it back to address. And then you can go in here and you can say what the title of that should be. And then also a hint text. So you can see over here it says address and just the postcode. Um, user input. Uh, so for category, that's a choice input. Um, and here I've said get the options from the icons tab. That's where I've got a list of categories. Um, it's column A, it doesn't have a name. Um, and that's where you get the data from. So, so that's why that list appears. So this is all kind of pretty much pre-built. You just put in the fields and then they press submit and that shows up in the Google form automatically. Um, the food tab is, so I've just chose the list style. So you've got all these different styles you can choose here. I just chose, chose list style. Um, and then I've, t I've said make the title the the name of the shop which I called the shop column um, have the address underneath it uh, the category underneath that and have the image as the icon column so very simple and the only additional thing I add here is I've got a filter to say the type is food and then the other tab is exactly the same except I've got a filter that says type is other and I've got a slightly different layout. I'm not quite sure why, um, but there you go. So over here I've got the icons on the right and here I've got the icons on the left and it's a bit thinner. Um, and then the map view uh, is actually just totally automatic. Um, so you, you just add that and it, it does everything um, for you pretty much. Um, and that's it that's the entire app that's how it works um, so people can just add new businesses they show up in the spreadsheet and then they're live on the app for anyone to see um, oh and when you when you go on the app and you click on a business you see all the other information that they uploaded so you get nice pictures descriptions and you can just click on one of these to send them an email um, or click on that if you're on your phone and it will open up that number in your on your phone so I encourage people to copy this I'll put a link to make an exact copy of this app um, in the description so if you want to make one for your local area please go ahead um, please put it on your local Facebook groups and try and get it on the local radio or something and it might really help some people who are not able to get deliveries uh, this time Okay, thanks for watching.